some peace and quiet ask that first barman i met and he told me charles was here <laughs> not one of life's Folks, great mysteries out. but they hate a massacre and you are a killer we both know what you gotta do i'm leaving now he don't know the half of it john you're you're i'm alive <laughs> so are you <sighs> so's he that's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real Redskin Brave. Wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Out just yet. What is this? Hit him, Charles. Simon, hit him. Oh, wolf. This is right. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Oh, Knock him out. <laughs> What's he doing? Hit him, Lone Wolf. Hot so. Pretend he's Micah. Don't black out just yet. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? I'd be unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Hey, what's up? Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. 
As much as any of us could be. Yeah. Life is really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, sure least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh... He used to work for Angelo Bronte. We've only been here an hour. Hey! Here. What now? Well, we go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! Uh -huh. You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's not just one fight. Evidently! Chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to beat. <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. 
Not even a retired two dollar truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. You gonna pull that horse or I gotta give it a kick? I need a break. Head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. All right, girl. That's it, girl. Whoa, now. There you go.
could do a thing like this. Hello? Not here. Yeah. A nice kid. Let him go. Damn it, Elias. Let him go, but take his hair. Get him! Oh, we are messing with.
damn it! Let's go, girl. I don't need to get involved with this. Here's that Skinner, brother. What's left of him? Last green. Well, I'll be. Didn't think I'd see this one alive or dead. Throw him back out with the rest of the trash, will you? That man weren't worth spit, but here's what we're paying for him. It was a nasty business up there. Honest work for honest pay. Picking up another poster. What's your damn game? Good job, lady. Extra, extra, read all about it. You know what? 20 centuries gonna be good for this country. Feel Hello there, sir. Is this your first time in my saloon? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh... Got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, upper... How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine. 
James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. <laughs> yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. You're a good girl now. Doing okay, girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nope. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. This outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. We aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here.
This is the place. It's a view, all right. Oh! Come on. Let's go take a look down in the valley. I ain't sharing mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. be our chance. Yeah. They're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men... And you work alone. Right there. <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Let's move. 
up ahead. Another one on patrol. I got him. What's it look like?
need to relieve myself. Barely right. a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need... How'd it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Come on. The jail's up here. Almost there, Finley. A lot of ugly business here. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. 
Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique. Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique, pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. 